Hey everyone, um, so welcome back. So here I'm gonna do a video um, about studying with me. So I'm currently, um, hi my name is Monica by the way, I am currently a uh, first semester senior in my nursing program and I will show you how I study because I do have a uh, psychiatric nursing exam in a little less than a week. Um, so this is just kind of how I study my kind of methods. Again, if you do not find this helpful, um, or if you don't study the way that I do, that's totally fine. You know, like everyone has their different ways. Um, yes, if you're wondering like, oh, did your hair look different? Like I did get my hair done. Um, so it's fading a little bit, but I did get kind of like a platinum silver done. Um, and I absolutely love it. I think it's so fun. Um, for spring, it's something different and I love it. So yeah, so let me show you um, kind of how I study. Okay, so when I'm studying, I always, um, like, I always read the chapters. So, like, this chapter is on trauma, stressors relating to dissociative disorders, so PTSD, um, dissociative identity disorder, and all of those things. So I always read the chapters first. Uh, usually, um, right after the class, we talk about it. If I can do it before, I'll do that. Um, but otherwise I'll do it after and I will read the chapters or the assigned reading our professor is uh, we're great I'm grateful enough that she assigns like certain pages so it's not like a hundred you know pages if you haven't I'm so sorry um, but anyway so I will read it and I will kind of put all the important stuff down in the notes so for instance like for post-traumatic stress disorder I will put like that and then um I'll kind of put like the main kind of topics about it. So like what are the clinical picture, what kind of medications are good with them, and um, like what are some nursing interventions that you can do, outcomes, that kind of thing. Um, I think, you know, at this point I'm pretty good at kind of skim reading and, you know, getting the, like the most information out. I get it's hard when you're uh, just starting out in nursing school, it's hard to know like, oh, what exactly do I need to know? But I promise it gets better with... Um, practice and so I will always um kind of have, used to have like the types of crisis so, like maturational situational and adventitious I'm sorry my handwriting sucks <laughs> um I know but I would kind of like, just go really sloppily and go really fast because I'm the only one reading them and yeah I know it's terrible but anyway just try to get like what I'm trying to say you don't have to read it anyway so I will have like the three different things here and what really helps me is kind of just reading those notes over so when I'm um studying for a test I will kind of read these over in my head um and then afterwards I will say it out loud to myself okay so for example if I'm talking about um the different types of crises I will speak out loud um I think talking like being verbally studying really helps me memorize it in my head and also having those notes on my piece of paper if you like to study like from notes on your laptop that's totally fine there's the vast majority of people in my class do have um study have a laptop it's just kind of me and a couple other people that uh take notes uh, like physical notes and so that really helps me because it's just kind of like my own writing i kind of know what i want to say and then I think there's been studies done that like prove that like writing helps better but I totally get people that want to do laptops. I totally understand. So for instance, so if I'm studying on the types of crises, I'll like say out loud in my head like maturational is going to be a uh, type of an example of like growing from a teenager to an adult or like leaving college, retiring, that kind of thing. And saying it out loud really helps me kind of almost like teach it to myself again. So I feel like if you're at least for me. Again, this is my teaching style. You, I mean, my learning style. You have to know, like, your learning style ideally before. Um, so whether you like to be, like, auditory, so you like to listen to, like, lectures, if your professor allows you to listen to those, or if you solely like to, like, read it, um, kind of talking to me or, like, teaching others, like, verbally learning, um, really helps me kind of go through it. I think also, too, like, if I'm studying with a partner, it's really nice to, like, ask them questions, have them ask me back questions. That way I can talk through it and also teach as well, which is very helpful. Um, so that's kind of how I do it. Um, and I'll just kind of go through, read, you know, a chapter and then kind of recite it out loud again. That tends to really help me. Um, so that's what I will do for that. So let's kind of see how that goes.
Okay, so if you also saw too, um, I covered up some answers, so that's another thing I like to do too. So I'll like read, so I will like look at and like read it in my head, what like a definition is, what a certain, oh sorry, what a certain drug is, that kind of thing. Um, so like an SSRI for depression, that kind of thing. So I'll read it and then I will like try to cover it up or look away or something and then try to like recite it so to see like do I know this so that really helps me like verbally reciting um uh like certain you know things like what would be like a nursing outcome in this situation what would you do as a nurse in this situation that kind of thing really helps me um kind of just to cover it up and then try to remember it uh, I feel like that really helps me for ex exams and everything um yeah, and that kind of thing. So next I will show you kind of another tool that I use that my school does come with. Not every school is going to come with this. Um, we're lucky enough that we do get ATI books included in our tuition, um, so that's pretty nice. I mean, I am paying for it, um, but yeah, so I also use those to study from as well. The nice part about ATI is that it really is quite good at um, summarizing everything so they'll give you like the very key points so we have like acute stress disorder which the book you know was like a page long and so they just kind of summarize the main thing so at least three days um, but it's again it's not as bad as post-traumatic stress disorder but it can lead to it so I really like this just to go over just so I have a good foundation in my head and it kind of just breaks everything down into very summarized areas so again it's not going to be super detailed so I would still continue to read the textbook but just have this in addition if you don't really understand what like the main points are of the book of the textbook and then just go to ATI to get the kind of main parts of it so I will go over this here and read these as well just kind of skim everything over again um, especially looking at the risk this risk <laughs> factors um, they're really good about laying everything out, expected findings, you know, different diagnostic things you can do, different patient care, and I will go over that, and as well as the fact that they do have um, questions at the end. These are really good, I think, just to help kind of quiz you, and there's like five or six on every chapter, and it's just a good way to see, like, did you understand the material, and then on here they'll have um, some rationale, which I really enjoy rationale. I feel like if you don't have rationale for questions that you get wrong, it's kind of hard hard sometimes like why did I get this wrong why is this the correct answer so I really like ATI in that sense it kind of good at breaking everything down really summarizing it and then having some additional uh, prep test questions another thing that I like using for studying for exams is my planner actually um, I, got, I like to decorate my planner every week I know I'm pretty it, it gives me joy anyway so um, what I like to do is I just put also like the page numbers that I read and of course like the satisfactory checkbox so when I'm done I check it off I'm all done but I like to put like the chapter numbers just because you know when I'm studying I'm not I know like the content of what we're studying but I'm not exactly always sure like what exact chapter so when I'm using like ATI or um I'll show you like an online one I use like Evolve they have it labeled just by like the chapter number and that way I don't have to like go back in my book and like oh what chapter was this content again so this way like I have it on my planner so I just check back to see what exact chapters I have to look over and that really helps me kind of it's quicker and helps me stay more organized okay so here's the evolve website um so like just like my evolve so like, you just have to register your textbook it's for free if you already have one and um this is pretty easy so I have like my adult one on here my health assessment and now I have my mental health. This is what I want to do. Okay, blah, blah, blah. We don't care. Grades will not be saved. It's not graded. Like, I mean, it's my school doesn't. So, like, what you do is I just go into the student resources. Also on here, they also, you know, they have all the chapters listed. So, I think I'm on chapter 16. So, I'll go under that. What's really nice, too, is that they do have their own kind of case studies. Uh, there's glossary if there's any like words you didn't know there's a pre-test post-test and the NCLEX test which I always do just because I like the extra um, you know you know it's always good to prepare for the NCLEX early so I just do those I really like it just because they have like I think it's like 20 questions and um, it's a really good amount just to kind of help you prepare and then at the end um, so this one's only five, but some of them it's like 20, so you'll just do it, and then it will, at the end, provide rationale. Again, it's a good way to kind of test your knowledge, 
some people only use this stuff just to study. I don't recommend that. I recommend like, going off of your notes and then just using this to test your knowledge again, just to see like, oh, I don't know that as much as I, I don't know this information like as much as I should, or this is an area that I should work on or that kind of thing. And also just to help kind of decrease that testing anxiety too. I really like to just because when you're in the testing room, it can kind of get like, oh, so if you already kind of have taken questions, it's usually pretty helpful. So I like using that as well. Okay, so I just finished off with the um, Evolve practice questions and I feel really good. So again, I don't have my test tomorrow. You know, I still have a little bit of time. But another thing too is I like to start like hardcore studying exactly a week before. I mean, you can do it earlier, but I think seven days is the minimum of time that at least helps me kind of have that time to go over everything. And I won't go over all the material in one day. I'll do like a little bit here. And then I'll take a break, go back, and I'll do that consistently for like seven days. And that really helps me. Again, because I feel like if, you know, if people just go over the material like the night before, all that, then I think it's hard for your brain to memorize that and to remember it. And also too, like in nursing, um, it's not just memorization too. You start to get into like critical thinking. So like, what would you do in this situation and what's the correct thing and like what would what patient would you go to first so it's not just memorization it's critical thinking and I think it really helps if you give your brain time uh, enough time to kind of do that and everything so I hope some of these tips helped you if not to make sure to check out your learning style what best helps you um, and just make sure to get a lot of sleep the night before I think cramming is the worst thing you can do um, like the night before you know people some people stay up to like 2 a.m can't do that I always go to bed try to go to bed around like 10 30 especially if I have an exam the next day and that really helps me kind of feel good I stay really hydrated um too with water so that helps eating a good breakfast all those things that you guys probably know but just those little things can really help you too um another thing that will help me for exams like how I study is to kind of cancel out questions in my head. So if you're taking like a paper test, you know, I think crossing out stuff is one of the best things you can do. That way you like know it's not that one. Um, another thing too, if uh, what I'll do is I will just read the question and kind of cover up the answers. And then I will see like what is the like what I think is the right answer in my head. And if it matches it, I look down and it matches it and I know that's correct. Because sometimes it can be really hard if you're in between two. So if you like know the right answer just by reading it, then that can really help, I think. So I hope some of these helped you with kind of how I study. Um, I have been doing this a while, but everyone has their own way of studying, so... Yeah, so I hope you guys have a great day. Good luck studying. You guys can do it. So, bye. Also, too, for my hair, I was really going for, like, Lucy's Malfoy vibes today. <laughs> you know, like, some serious Slytherin. And yeah, so if any Harry Potter fans out there, he was my inspiration. <laughs>